Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is to share the top 10, as most people would say, but mine's going to be the top 12 layouts that I completed in 2012 that I would like to reshare. I would have also liked to have done like the people's choice, like the top 10, but I came down with a severe bronchitis, strep throat. Now it's turned into a cold that I'm still fighting. Um, based on the number of hits, what you guys like the most, but I just didn't have the energy. I came down sick, but let's get to the top 12 and I'll tell you why I selected them. I mean, there was several other layouts. When I went through, I immediately selected 18, got it narrowed down to 12, couldn't get it to 10. All right, this first one was created around the first of the year of 2019. What attracted me on this is the vertical look straight in the middle and the mixed media that I did, and stamping, and splattering, and of course, of course, I'm a lover of dolies here, the feminine look of this. I love these wood dots that have this uh, matte finish. I hope the manufacturers come out with those more. I mean, I love enamel dots, but I like to have different textures and different looks, and they need to make more of these. I also love this little ladybug that's down here um, to the right, and then I'm glad that I used this old chipboard from close to my heart. It's probably 10 years old, maybe even older than that. It's meant that you could, you know, watercolor on these, use acrylic, stamp on them, but basically change it. Again, I love that concept, and it's a chipboard. It's nice and thick. So I love this and I used my stencil. This is one of my favorite Dolly stencils. I, one of my favorite Dolly stencils I love to use and I used Tim Holtz Distress Oxide inks in here. That's all I used here and then I splattered using them. And um, of course, this came from a different collection. This is not part of Felicity Jane. This die cut is. These alphas are not, and neither is this. This, I think, might be um, Doodlebug, if I'm not mistaken. But I like, again, that vertical look, but pushed over to the right and having a cluster down here and then just something to catch your eye here. Love, love that. That's why I selected that one. <clears throat> This is what I would call one version of a happy horizontal, all focused up here. And then I have a little bit of mixed media going on here in chipboard. And then again, a little bit of element down here to catch your eye. I also like the brightness. All right, I love this layout. This is a fun layout to you. It might look a little bit busy if you're not used to it. Again, if you notice, I love pattern paper, it be it solid, um, you know, a more subtle pattern, like this is what I'd call subtle with a little bit of mixed media imprinted. This, we're getting a little bit more busier and you're going to see even more. But I just love kind of, it's almost like a tone on tone, black and blues. And then I have some sequins and I think this is when I started venturing to use sequins a little bit more. I wasn't a fan. I mean, I liked them on other people's layouts, but I was just not really using them. So I think this is like me saying, okay, and the more you use something, the more I liked it. Now, sometimes the more you use something, you say, mm, I still don't like it. That's a-okay. And then I have some chipboard here. So I, again, I just like all my clusters here. So we got a cluster here and here. And that's why I selected this one. It's more about me venturing on using chipboard. And all that paper there was from Pretty Little Studios. This is Pretty Little Studios, and this is Pink Fresh Studios. I do remember that. I'm not going to always know these. All right, now this is, I'm counting as one, but it's a double spread layout. This is using Close to My Heart products. Again, this is where I'm telling you, whatever use it all and I am a consultant for them but as you notice I use everything and I just I love this using the strips of paper here rather than washi tape I um, did a lot of uh, my word phrases I um, popped them up with um, foam adhesive and I used some old 
brads that I had that were masculine. So I really like this. Here again is, I just love pattern paper. I love this cluster right here. I just love this double spread. So this is one of my, I selected this as one of my top double spread layouts. I did quite a few in 2019. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat for the pause. So I'll try to remember to edit that out. All right, this one here is using uh, One Canoe 2 paper. I can't remember which line it is right off the bat. Maybe it'll, it might be on the back. And what I liked about this is the circle, circular elements. I really love adding circles in here. And I just really covered this whole page. I love the mix of this kind of um, peachy pink with this um, rose gold here. I love this and love the pictures. So that's, so this would be, what is this? Number one, two, three, four. This is number five. This is a more recent one that I did. And again, I like the element here and here, and I did some stamping and I have some old pearls that I use, and that makes me happy when it all comes together and you're using the older products and with the newer products. I mean, it just enhances. And, um, and I add a little bit of sequence. I love this cluster right here and it cascading down on empty space in this photo. It's not taking away from the photo because as you can tell, this is about sleet snow and more snow here so that's layout six here's seven. Oh my goodness i am in love never try to do something like this to separate um, my embellishments like this but i tied it together with these dots and this is using um, pink fresh studio products and i did this for the collective i love this I just love, I've got a frame here, I've got tucking, got puffy. I just, this whole combination of the blue and the green and this white. This is the next one. All right, I remember doing this one. This one was for Tracy's um, birthday hop, one of my scrappy dear friends with Mini Camp Mondays. And here I am mixing gold rose gold and silver together and again my photograph was is just here with the title here in the middle and this circular element these clusters so i made this cluster with my photograph a cluster in the middle with my title and the cluster at the end and using white background paper i've got the splatters as well so this would be another mixed media type layout and I think I used, lightly used, um, the kissing technique where you put your pa paint on, um, like, you know, wrapping from your um, scrapbooking products and put it on there and lightly touched it. Sometimes you can do it heavy or light. I did it light. And then I added um, some stamping here. I've got a little bit of washi tape showing here, tag. I also have wood veneer, a jewel, enamel dots. Love that layout. <coughs> Sorry again. All right, now let's go to the more white. Because if you know me, I struggle with just a white paper and leaving this. But this is awesome. This is old photographs of when my dad was in the army. And it's a block design, just focused in the middle and left it alone. I did back it with black cardstock. And I love this. I made my dad a few years ago his own album of his army days and the places that he traveled. Um, and I had some extra prints that I am putting together for my album and I'm making it all black and white. I love that. That so that's a block look. Here we would go call the happy vertical if you want to say it top to bottom, and this time we got it over to the left. 
So I've showed it in the middle to the right, now to the left, with bigger blocks of paper. And I have cluster here, and then I have this with my title and some flowers here. And again, this is of my dad and his army buddies. And they completed something and they got to go out. And so anyway, they're going out to have fun. That's all I remember of my dad telling me. So I love, again, I like, you know, using black and white together. So I'm just showing you I have all different types of techniques. All right, this one here, I chose this one because I love you tearing. Love tearing. I've got several layouts with tearing, but I love this. I love all the patterns showing you that I love mixing all the patterns together and then here's some tissue paper that I tore and some splatters and it's on like a um, crackly the base paper is like a crackly wood grain type paper and it's with a photograph from many years ago of my husband and his two brothers and um, anyway yeah, I love it I teared did some distressing on here love that so those are my top 12 that I chose, showing you different styles that I do. All right, if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So subscribe. Give a thumbs up. That's showing me some love and giving me some traffic to my channel. Share my channel. And most of all, get out those photographs document your memories in a fun creative way use sketches scrap lift others you can scrap lift any of these you can go to my youtube channel and scrap lift any you just got to freeze the screen and you can scrap lift away or come up with your own ideas all right i appreciate you all it's been a good year. I expect 2020 to be another good year. And um, click that bell button. Hit the and click where it says you want to receive all notifications every time I post. And not only will you receive inspiration from me, but I collaborate with several other different ladies. And you can hop over and get inspirations from their channel because we all support and love one another. All right, and we'll see you next time. Bye.